Did you know, in the books, Tyrion is really evil and threatens to beat and force himself upon Tommen. So, for context, Tommen is moved out of King's Landing to Castle Roseby, north of King's Landing, long before Stannis arrives, but is captured by Tyrion's sellswords, when Cersei captures who she thinks is Tyrion's whore, Alea, not Ross, who does not exist in the books. Tyrion threatens to harm Tommen if Cersei harms Alea, and says what is done to her, he will do to Tommen by himself. So, even though the scene ends with Tyrion having the upper hand, Tyrion gets nothing out of this exchange except ensuring that Cersei would not rest until he is dead, which is what eventually happens. Obviously, Tyrion didn't mean it, but still, what advantage or benefit did this threat have? Because it wasn't to protect Alea. He seemed to only do it to humiliate and frighten Cersei, which is so stupid. 